Microsoft announces Surface Laptop Go and new Surface Pro X. The Surface Laptop Go has a 12.4-inch 1536 by 1024 touch display, a 720p webcam, Core i5-1035G1, that's decent, 4 gigs of RAM, okay, 64 gigs of eMMC storage, which is pretty lame, for $549. Um, I guess so? And the Surface Pro X, literally the same as the last Surface Pro X, but with the new Microsoft SQ2 processor. And what's interesting about this is that it's basically a modified Snapdragon 8CX Gen 2, which is a barely modified 8CX. But Windows on ARM is getting exciting because dun, 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 we are leading into the next story here. Yes. Microsoft is planning to solve Windows on ARM's biggest flaw beginning in November. In a lengthy blog post, this is crazy. Microsoft outlined plans for future ARM development, including a new native Teams application and 64-bit x86 emulation support. Super cool. It's happening. 64-bit emulation support has long been a stumbling block for Windows on ARM, as more and more software is compiled for 64-bit processors, because it's been like, I don't know... When, when did the Athlon 64 come out? Like 2008? It's been, it's been like 12 years. So that meant that until this announcement, if you had a Windows on ARM device, you had to hope that there was either an ARM native version of the app or 32-bit version of the app in order to run it at all. What's up, Luke? 2003. 2003. Oh, wow. So I was way off. Sorry about that. But over 15 years. This is the second That's major crazy. x86 emulation layer that Microsoft has added to Windows on ARM with the previous Windows 8 based Windows RT having no x86 app support whatsoever. Now, we have no idea what the performance will be like. It could be terrible, but any performance is a lot better than <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because that's that's a big drawback. Like a lot of people don't need to game on their laptop. I almost never run a game on my laptop. And if I did, a lot of the time I would be at home where I could use a game streaming service and not 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 one that I subscribe to. I don't subscribe to any, but I could just stream off of my desktop using GeForce Now. Um, wait, is that what is that what is it still called? That game stream? Game, sorry, GeForce Now is the no, the, the other one. It's been so. rebranded like three times. Whatever. Who cares? That, with Shield something. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, there's. I'm not too worried about things like game support because that's not who they're going after. Like they're going after the people who might buy you know a MacBook, right? As long as I have at least the option to run any app that I would want to, this is this makes ARM on a mobile device like a laptop finally kind of something that could get to me. Like if I had a laptop that I only had to charge like once a week, oh, that would be amazing. You throw like a big fat like 70 watt hour battery in this thing and what is effectively a Snapdragon processor. Oh man. Like like two days of screen time? Wow. I'd be super into that. All right. Should we do the bounty? I, I suspect just one quick thing before we go for it. Yeah. I think this is gonna be super problematic. You just think it won't work very well? Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise I, me. I think that I and I don't I okay. I was just about to say I think they're gonna do a bad job. And I don't I don't think that's actually necessarily the case. It's just I really think hard. The result is gonna be bad. Yeah. yeah. It's like they really might do hard. a great job and I still think it's probably going to be really rough. Yeah, but. I mean, also sometimes Microsoft's developers are not the best. Like what's up with yep. that super tiny notification in the Teams app that indicates that you're not what's signed up with in? the Teams app? Yeah, well. But but so, and, okay. And, yeah, but, I I can't so, so, and like okay, I don't use Teams all the time. I use it pretty infrequently. Maybe like once a week so i'm not exactly the greatest like teams user use case thing but sometimes it can player. take me like days to figure out i'm signed out of teams yeah because it's, it's just this like tiny little yellow bar gray. it's yellow yeah. i thought it was great whatever color it is it's not sure. eye-catching and the entire app looks perfectly normal unless you try to send a message and it's like oh couldn't send but it, it, if i remember correctly it doesn't actually like say why no I don't it's think so. Like, Oops. Couldn't send. So you have to be like, Sorry. oh, crap, I'm signed out again. It's and like, I have, I have fairly intense password security. And I, it logs me out on my phone all the time. All the time. It's so annoying. And like, things on my phone generally don't log me out on my phone. Like Slack, WhatsApp. 
Telegram, like what are all the other messaging applications that I use that do for whatever reason, they don't need to log me out every 30 they days. And we've in. been we've been complaining to Microsoft about this ever since we made the switch. That was like freaking a year ago. Like, what are you guys doing? Nobody else requires this. So yeah. annoying. Really rough. So like I, I'm basically never logged into Teams on my phone. So I don't get Teams notifications on my phone, which is like hugely problematic in its own right. <laughs> Super annoying.